No one's behavior is always perfect. When we misbehave, sometimes we do so for a reason. Although, that doesn't mean it's a good one. In the story you are about to read, an elderly woman misbehaves at an important milestone in her life. Hi, and welcome back! The Tree Center Woman, Richard Peck Characterization Literary characters have personalities just as real people do. How a writer creates and develops these personalities is known as characterization. For example, a writer may describe a character's physical appearance present a character's thoughts, words, and actions, present the thoughts, words, and reactions of other characters, make direct comments about a character's personality. As you read the story, know what the characters say and do and what is said about them. Set a purpose for reading. When you set a purpose for reading, you choose a specific reasons for reading one or more works, and this will help you enjoy reading. The author, Richard Peck, inspired teacher. Teaching high school English brought out the writer in Richard Peck. As he says, I found my future readers right there in the role book. Although Peck has written novels for adults, he is best known and loved for his young adult fiction. The Three Century Women Important Details Two historical events in Three Century Women San Francisco Earthquake 1907 and the Hindenburg Explosion in 1937. So even though it's a fictional story, there are two historical events on it. What is the theme in the three century women? Don't think that people are just their memories. Characters in the three century women. GGB, Megan, a news reporter, Aunt Gloria and Megan's mom. Setting in the three century women is a nursing home in 2001. In the story, the three century woman, the narrator's perception of her great-grandmother changes from seeing her as a typical old person in a nursing home, sleepy and uninteresting, to seeing her as a unique individual that she'd like to know better. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and until the next one. Bye!